Hello, it's Sarah. Uh, I wanted to share today the products that I made with the tape, the, the metal tape. I was telling you last time I had a video that I was kind of going, just running some through my um, cuddle bug and I made these little tags and um, so I saw a few more tutorials and I decided to try this project. I got this idea from Leanne, Lovely Scrappin'. She had done a box and the top is actually based on another tutorial by Rach0113 called Metal Tape Art. And I had seen that before, but then Leanne, of course, takes it a step further and puts it on the top of the box. Um, she had hers, um, she uses like um, so much texture on her pieces and just layering and I guess, I mean, she has so many embellishments and everything. I just kind of made mine much more simple um, using basically what I had. Um, I went and got the thickers letters and the, the foil does rip a little bit when you kind of push it down in, but then when you put the black paint on there, you can't tell. So I played with, I had the, um, I did have some of the, um, this is drywall tape my husband found me in the garage. So I did use that for some of this mesh here. And I had some bling and I had my flowers. I'm into teal lately, so I've been doing teal. This was from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think the paper pad I used is um, Tattered Time. I think that was it. Uh, die Cuts with a View. I hadn't used that yet and it was it had some gears and stuff in it so I figured I'd try that and then I used the Baroque um, paper too. Uh, I put some more of the tin through and I actually think I just cut the tape and put it right through my cuddle bug in, in the embossing folder and then I peeled it off and just stuck it on the box. Oh actually first I put some black black paint on it because that makes the definition come out in the um, embossing. So I did that and just put some trims on here, a few pearls and stuff. It's not real elaborate, but I mean, I like it. I think it turned out pretty cool. I might put some feet on it because it's, I mean, it's kind of, it's a little box. And then inside I didn't do anything much, just lined it with paper, a couple different. And I put some, um, those are the Tim Holtz, um, I forget the name of the die, but it's just those. Uh, big gear dies. Uh, I just put them up on top and I mean I could put flowers and do a little bit more but um, I just really was trying to work with the metal. I wanted to try out some of the metal um, techniques I had seen. So that's what I did for the box but then I also, the last video I showed I was working with the Prima Doll stamps, remember? And I hadn't used one little girl stamp yet this one and I had also made a tag that was all here she is I might as well just bring her in um, she was I mean this one I had um, put the tape all over it the silver foil tape and uh, I ran it through the cuddle bug and got some gears on here and here and I put a lot of texture on it but I just thought it was too much for um, it was, I don't know, it, for the background alone. So I ended up um, embossing, which embossing folder? It's like the brick embossing folder. I just took a nice burgundy color paper and uh, made some bricks and cut them out and kind of put them sporadically. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> I don't know if that's steampunk or not, but um, it, it worked because I just wanted to tone down the background and, and give it some more color. So that way I was able to add some burgundy flowers into it and stuff. And I went the, with the teal again because I am into the teal. Um, yeah, so, um, but for the doll, I actually uh, fussy cut her out of a Tim Holtz paper. That is from, I don't know, my, it's over there. But it's like an architect plan. And I just stamped her down on that and cut her out. And so there's little lines from like an architect plan on her skin. And then I fussy cut her dress out of, um, I think it's an authentic paper, I think. Oh, I don't remember. I, I clean up my desk and everything's in a pile over there. Um, <laughs> and then, um, oh, her wings. So here, I just put the tape on top of a piece of that manila file folder, ran it through the, um, with this, the um, Tim Holtz Heart and Wings. So I put the wings on there. Look, it almost fits perfectly like that. Um, and got her wings. And then I actually have a wing stamp 
Can you see that? It doesn't fit perfect, but I kind of liked it. I think it just gave the metal a little hint of something, something, and I liked it. So, <laughs> and then I just like, um, what's it called? Uh, put black ink all around the edges. I made her a top hat, which I love. It turned out so cute and just put, made the sash to match her dress. Put some gears and a pearl on top of that. And, uh, oh. Gave her a clock. She looks like Flavor Flav, but you know, clocks are very steampunk. Um, put some stickles on her shoes and a little bit on her dress to tie in that. And uh, gear down here, a couple flowers and some metal pieces. And uh, butterfly at the top. I think she turned out pretty cool. I like it. I mean, you can just go crazy with this stuff. This is just um, the pa the paper that matches her dress. I just put that on the back. But um, that's it. I said I was going to do a steampunk one, and that's my steampunk one. It's pretty cool. I like it. So I think next I'm going to be doing uh, put my metal away, and I'm going to play with these matchbooks. Uh, Miranda... Miss Liberty 25 had just done has just done a tutorial on these. So I've been wanting to try one of them. Oh, I might as well show real quick. I had done a um a share on my other one that I made, but this one I finished too. I like these. These these are the big matchbook match boxes. These are the kitchen size. And then I just made make my little baubles to match the colors. Oh, there's a couple in there. Ooh, I like that one too. <laughs> because I had set this aside. This one actually matches the this uh, box. But it turned out so cute. I put little crystal feet, crystal uh, bead feet on the bottom. And a little bling. Not really much. I, I like to let the paper do the talking, to be honest with you. Just because I don't have that many. I mean, I guess I do have a lot of embellishments, but... Not to the extent that some people do. So, I mean, I, I just like, when the paper's this beautiful, I mean, you don't need to cover it all up with all the embellishments. So, anyway, I'm going to work on my little matchboxes next. So, I just wanted to share uh, what I've been doing with the metal. And hopefully, you'll give it a try because it's fun. It's a, uh, it really is. It doesn't take long to do the actual metal technique. But, you know, figuring out the rest of the embellishments, that's the hard part for me. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.